Welcome everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and we're going to do problem 3.7, okay? It says, the man attempts to pull down the tree using the cable and small pulley arrangement is shown. If the tension AB is 16 pounds, determine the tension in cable CAD and the angle theta, okay? So we got this tree and we got the little guy trying to pull it down. So we got the pulley system here. Um, our guy is applying a total of uh, it's uh, 60 pounds, so we got 60 pounds in here, okay? So let's draw our free body diagram. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that three so we have more space. And we draw our free body diagram. And we're going to do it at point A. So we got 60 pounds that are going in this direction. So we got 60 pounds. And we got the two tensions that are coming from the pulley. Since it's a pulley, both tensions are the same magnitude. So we got T over here, and we also got another T over here. Okay? We're told that from the first tension, this first one, there is an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the x-axis, and between the, the cables, we got an angle theta, that's the one we want to find. Okay? Also, we're told that the guy is it's, uh, applying the force in a 30 degree with respect to the x-axis. So we can also represent that in here, which is 30 degrees. Alright, so knowing this, we can apply our system, uh, the, our equations of equilibrium. So if we do our forces in the x direction, we're going to have negative t multiplied by the cosine of 20 for the first tension. So t cosine of 20, and it's going to the left, so it's negative, minus the second tension multiplied by the cosine of the angle. The angle is not theta, it's theta plus 20. So let's create another variable called gamma, which is going to be represented by 20 plus theta, okay? So minus 20 cosine of theta plus the force that is going to the right, that is doing the man, which is going to be 60 cosine of theta, and all this should be equal to zero, okay? So let's clean this equation up. We're going to move the tensions to the other side so everything we have is positive. And we have that 60 cosine of 30. Let's make that right away. 60 cosine of 30. That gives me 51.96. So 51.96 is going to be equal to T cosine of 20 plus t cosine of gamma, okay? Now, that's our first equation, and we can do our second equation, my summatory of forces in the y direction. So, for the y direction, we got same guy, so we got going up, we got t sine of 20 degrees plus T sine of gamma, which is going to be minus uh, the 60 sine of 30 equal to zero. Okay, so if we clean it up a little bit, we got T sine of 20 degrees plus T sine of gamma should be equal to. Day, which is 60 sign of day, okay? This is 30 pounds. Okay, so we got our second equation. Uh, what we can do is solve for t in this equation. So we got t multiplied by, so if we do that, we multiply by sine of 20 plus sine of gamma should be equal to 30, and if we solve for t, which is equal to 30 divided by sine of 20 plus sine of gamma. So now that we solve for t, we can plug it back into equation 1. So if for equation 1, we get 51.96 
should be equal to t which is 30 divided by sine of 20 plus sine of gamma so basically i'm gonna rearrange this equation as cosine of 20 plus cosine of gamma that way i just have to put t ones so and then we're gonna be multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees plus cosine of gamma okay and now that we have this what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use our graphing calculator and we're gonna solve for gamma okay guys if we wanna find gamma what we're gonna use is that we're gonna use the graphing method and with the equation we found we can say that our first equation will be equal to 30 all divided by sine of 20 plus sine of our unknown also multiply by cosine of 20 plus cosine of our unknown okay and then our second equation is going to be the other side of the equation we found which if we round it up into the number will be equal to 52 okay so if we go to graph and we go and you see this intersection this intersection will give me the answer for gamma so in order to know we hit second calculate and number five will give me the intersect so we hit five it's gonna ask me which one is the first curve so I go where until I find the mark is in my first curve and then the second mark is in my second curve I hit enter again enter and it's gonna tell me that my angle gamma is equal to 39.96 which we could approximate into 40 degrees gamma is equal to 39.96 degrees and now that we have gamma we can we can solve for our tension force which is going to be equal to 30 divided by sine of 20 plus sine of 39.6 which is equal to, so we do 30 divided by the sine of 20 plus the sine of the 39.6, 39.96, I'm sorry, and we get that it's equal to 30.5 pounds, okay? Also, they didn't ask us for gamma, so we need to solve for theta, which is basically, uh, uh, theta is equal to gamma minus 20 since gamma is 39 we can let's approximate gamma to be 40 so basically it's 40 minus 20 will give me a 20 degree angle so this is our theta and this is our tension cable okay thank you guys for thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video